Hello, and welcome to Doom Interviews episode 151. That's how many Pokemon there are. We have the same amount of episodes as Pokemon in the first generation. That's fun. I'm your host, Springy, and joining us today is a very special guest. You want to go first? Sure. <laughs> I was actually going to make a joke by saying, like, what about Togepi? I mean... <laughs> but... <laughs> Anyways... Um, how's it going, everyone? Silver AK Shadark is here. Dereva Minoniminion Dot Ash Cosplay, or as also known as Ash. That that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> that and anywho. <laughs> so, first question is, how are you both doing today? Yeah, I'm surviving as much as I can in a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, it's in a panorama. Uh, But it's we're... going all right so far. I will say the very, I will say for sure. <laughs> Feels nice oh. to have off for a whole like three day weekend for a change. Oh uh, yeah. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, next up is have you have either one of you ever been interviewed like this before? Yes. Yes, actually. Awesome. Uh, not like online, but uh, we have been interviewed by someone. Um funny enough, called Ultra Evil Media at Retropalooza, like, years ago. But that was an in-person interview, so not online. Yeah. Well, what happened to introduce this side of the world of interviewing, and it seems like you're only interviewed by things that are evil and demonic, so... more power to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, next up, people can assume from either if they're coming from your guys' page, or just from the past guests we've had, or cosplayers, Yep. Um, yeah. is, is there any new cosplays you're able to tell us about without me giving you a small fee of $5 you're planning on doing? I actually have the one that I'm wearing right now is an upcoming cosplay that I'm doing for TikTok. Mm -hmm. It is based off of the uh, independent video game called Your Boyfriend. It is an erotic horror visual novel. And I love it so much, so I'm doing the main character from it. It it is eighteen plus though, so like yeah. no no kitties allowed. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah. Um, as for me, um it's still in uh in planning stages because I'm still sketching out on how I want to go everything about it. Mm -hmm. But um one project I really want to do and I'm hoping to finish this before the end of the year is uh Diluc from Genshin Impact. Ooh. Like the whole like um I have someone who's going to help me out with the uh getting the sword prop uh cuz I met these Genshin Impact cosplayers at Anime Houston and one of the guys was just like, "Hey, if you want to help me out, if you want to help out with uh Diluc's main weapon, let me know." So I'm like, "Cool, this yeah. could actually give me an opportunity to actually uh get the full cosplay done." Awesome. Awesome. You're always going to have to take advantage of those type of opportunities. For sure. So, um... Next question is, would you rather eat Cheetos or go on a hike? Go on a hike. Go on a hike. Mm. I can't eat Cheetos anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well then. A double hike. That never happened. Um... <laughs> that that's a new phenomenon right there, and we're at a hundred eps hundred and fifty one episodes <laughs> in. I didn't think that was possible. Um, <laughs> so next up is since since it was mentioned, um, you both are on the tickety talkities. Uh, why why did you decide to start that since it's a newer platform on on the interwebs? Uh, I mean, I heard about it back whenever it was still musically back in like 2015, but I didn't make a TikTok until right before the panorama hit. Mm. And then the pa the panorama hit my mental health a lot, so TikTok helped keep me sane throughout most of it. Mm -hmm. And it's still helping, and I now have multiple opportunities thanks to TikTok. So yay! Yeah. Awesome. I'm getting uh paid. <laughs> Lucky, I get paid like two so, cents a video, if that. <laughs> so proud of you. 
Hey, that's about as much as I get for YouTube. <laughs> oh, I don't get anything for YouTube. That doesn't... YouTube is... I got nothing so far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, kind of in a similar vein to uh, Ash, um, I only heard uh, Musical.ly through name. I didn't mm. actually... I never actually knew that TikTok was formerly Musical.ly until he told me. Yeah. But... um. It was around the time after he made one. I think like a month, like a two, three weeks after he made his. That was I about a one. month. Yeah, about a month. And then um, the coup hit, and um, my channel at the time was uh, not doing so hot with with the coup coming in and slap and giving a big old slap, especially since uh, me and him made a made one of our best cosmic music videos to date. Um. So I'm, and then ever since I've been making uh, a lot of content, mostly through TikTok since, and it's been super fun. I've uh, continued on, hoping to do more. Awesome, awesome. Well, now we have to do the stereotypical YouTube thing of advertising ourselves, even our own videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon. If you have any questions for our lovely guests. Here, put them in the comment section below. If we ever get back onto the show as themselves, then we'll ask them your questions. Yeet your mouse to the subscribe button. Well, yes. <laughs> Ye yeet it to the wall, and if you can hit the like button by throwing your mouse at the wall, you have a broken mouse. <laughs> Maybe a broken <laughs> wall, depending on your wall, I mean, and how hard you throw it. Or both. Or both. I mean, broken <laughs> pieces of mouse inside your wall. <laughs> that just sounds like some houses in different areas. Um, it's decoration. Exactly. It's wall art. <laughs> Maybe you can get some like pieces of plastic stuck on the wall. Uh, it's wall art. Anywho, um, also, this might be technically a sneak peek for it. Or it's already out. I don't know. That's that's the question here because I have to have that edited. Um, there'll be a character interview that either came out or coming up that Silver is actually in playing Mr. Roman Torstrick. And either go watch that. There'll be a card for it. There'll be a card for it either way. But I don't. But the card will only show up when the video is out. Um, <laughs> I think over there. And you can go watch it. Or if you're coming from that, welcome. You get a cookie. Um for what for right. watching that first. Um doo -doo -doo. So now that shameless promotion is over. Um what is the hardest thing about getting into one of your cosplays? Excuse me, I just have flesh <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> uh, I have one, but uh, um, unless you want to take first. No, again. you go. First. Okay. Um, because like I don't have too many like immobile cosplays, but I have I have a few. There's one in particular. Um, because one of my favorite cosplays I love doing is Koro Sensei from Assassination Classroom. Every time, like I love getting to that, but thing is though. I have to waddle like a penguin <laughs> every time I walk in that. And Ash can vouch for that. Every time that he's I'm around. He gets, that. Yeah. <laughs> he's my Nyagisa handler. And he's, and just, I have to like waddle every time. I am not even allowed, like, and also there's only two little holes out of my uh, he current head that I can see out of. But here's the thing I can only see the floor. <laughs> so mm. I'm just like, where am I going? Where am I going? <laughs> Where am I? Are we even still here? <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer? <laughs> suffer. <laughs> For me, the toughest thing about getting into cosplay, as you asked, mm -hmm. um... For me, it is the makeup, actually. Because mm -hmm. I, um... I like doing my makeup differently for every single character, and that's resulted in a lot of funny situations at conventions where people are just like, 
Ash? Is that you? I can't tell. <laughs> but it is the makeup because um, it just takes the longest. Like, it'll take me about, um, depending on the cosplay, like, Bakugo from My Hero Academia, that's like 45 minutes. Whereas a character like Dobby from My Hero Academia takes me about four hours to get into because of, like, all the the scarring and making the little staples, like, on, on there with eyeliner, just, that is the most complicated part of it, just because it takes so long, and it's so time-intensive and detailed. Yeah, that is the most difficult part for me, is just... Super-duper detailed. Just making sure that I got the details down. Ah. Makes yeah, sense. I, I'm going to be experiencing that soon, because I have to paint this whiter than I am. Um, next up is co a question coming from a past guest, a Mr. Zoom underscore 2028. Bacon? Question mark. Not a fan of bacon. Okay. Turkey, ba if it's turkey bacon, sure. Turkey bacon's okay. It just depends on where you get it from. Like, mm -hmm. uh, de like the um, Denny's turkey bacon. Eh. No. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Hmm. Makes sense. Well, next up, coming from the same past guest, is an even longer, more complicated question. Peanut butter, question mark. Yes. Especially depends. if it's crunchy. Crunchy peanut butter. I love crunchy peanut butter. But that depends. Mm. That, if it, Cause, uh, if it's like sugar-free, sure, I'm all for it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, next up is coming is going to be uh, s since you mentioned that you have gone to conventions before. How many have you gone to, or Caesar? How many different ones have you gone to? Uh, I've been going to cons for almost ten years. I've lost count. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh, next year will mark my ten year anniversary of going to conventions. What year is it? Twenty twenty one. Okay. Um, let's see. But probably last year doesn't count. I mean, there probably wasn't so any open. It was like 11 years because he started in like 2010, 2009. I start, okay, I started, um, this is a weird question for me because I started cosplaying at conventions in 2009, but I started, but I started convention going in 2007. Either or, I mean. Yeah. Take it how you wish. Hmm. Um. Next up is going to be. Um. Uh, is there any upcoming cons you're hoping to attend to in the in the safe future? You want to take this one first, Silver? Actually, I'll let you take the floor on this one. <laughs> Um, there is a smaller convention, like, it's a small mall convention coming up here in San Antonio, like, mm -hmm. very nice and spread out and everything, called MonsterCon. It is a horror convention. Yeah, it's, uh, happening later in September, but in terms of, like, bigger convention, uh, it depends on how the COVID situation or the panorama situation is, uh, in Texas, because it is pretty high in terms of risk mm -hmm. but things with the delta with the delta variant go down uh, there is a convention called onicon which uh, i will be going to as long as the numbers are not too ridiculously high yeah still wearing a mask but like yeah. just better safe than sorry for sure yeah yeah that's in halloween time that is right around halloween weekend this is this is Halloween. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, um, unfortunately, there's not that many, like, conventions going on for up here for, for the time being. I mean, I'm the, like, I was originally planning for, um, Dallas Fan Expo or Dallas Fan Days, just solely, um, there's a cosplay I, I've been really wanting to do and bring my dog with me at the time, because I really want to get into cosplay at least once. Mm -hmm. Um, because I really wanted to do, um, The Mandalorian, um, and for my dog to do, uh, The Child. And I think, mm -hmm. and I thought that would be a really, like, cool and cute idea to bring him along with me to doubt, to either one of those two to do it. 
But um, as far as for other conventions where I think uh, I could attend, Oni Kong is definitely on my list. I that's a to be seen to be seen for me because I'm waiting on waiting on a uh, current opportunity where uh, I could be at a different job than I am right now. Mm-hmm. But um, hoping hoping I may I'll be able to. Um, uh, yeah, keeping my fingers crossed for that one. Um, but I, and then, like, of course, uh, <laughs> um, the other big thing, one last thing, was also, um, the one that made me super happy and just, like, uh, I don't know if I should go or not, is, uh, Anime Fest Resurrection, because I'm so happy that that, that, um, that convention's coming back. I was so scared that, like, we would lose that convention due to COVID, and that's one of my mm-hmm. favorite uh, Texas conventions of all time. Yes. But I'm so happy that they're ba- that they're um, that they're back this year, and hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get that chance to go. Awesome. I don't know if I could say the same about Ash about that, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> figured. Um, next up is going to be. Who from the TikToks or the Instagrams or social media in general would you like to do an IRL collaboration with, not counting each other? Doing videos or photo shoots or music videos or whatever you wish to do. Hmm. Oh, geez. Who I would like to do a collaboration with, like, regardless of platform. Well, if you have one for each platform, go nuts. I mean, I there's not many I have a, here. I I kind of have one for each. Well, two for each platform. Like I have first, one for YouTube, one for TikTok. Okay. I have two for YouTube and one. Actually, no. I'm trying yeah, to keep I, it to one each, just for time consistency. Fair. Nah, it's, you're fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, wait. Do you want me to go first, or do you want me to? You go first. Okay. Um. Uh, for YouTube, screw off, fly. Um, um, for YouTube, I really want to do a collab with uh, D Pity, um, mm. who's a uh, cosplay vi- videographer and a really, really um, comedic person. Because <laughs> um, he got me influenced into doing uh, skit videos, which is something I've been doing a lot more on YouTube and even to an extent doing on TikTok too. Mm-hmm. Um, so I really I would love to do a uh, collab with him eventually in the future. As for TikTok, um, one of my favorite influences on TikTok, uh, he goes by uh, Music Man Fifty Five, or mm-hmm. also known by Lucas as his IRL name. Um, he was the one that helped me come out of my shell in terms of like um, getting into certain co- getting into uh, certain cosplays that I just put on the shelf for like the longest time, like. Uh, like Alucard from Helsing, Ren from Ruby, among a few others. Uh, mm-hmm. Those are just to name a few that got because of him got me out of that shell to just be like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna ha- just so long as I have fun with it. That's what matters. Yeah. If you wanna go watch that episode, it was last week. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless right, my turn? plug. Yeah. Okay, so for YouTube, I would love to do a collab with uh, YouTuber Coley Does Things. Uh, she is a uh, YouTuber who primarily does like uh, fandom-related content, like a entering the X fandom, and uh, and it's just a whole bunch of um, different references to the fandom and everything. Basically, it is a fandom in a nutshell sort of thing. Yeah, and also does a whole bunch of like. Um, make poking fun at different fan fiction tropes and so on and so forth and honestly i uh coley has done collabs with other people before so i'm just like i would love to do that i would absolutely love to do that just it would be awesome honestly yeah in terms of on tiktok that is honestly a very difficult question however if i got the opportunity to uh there is a tiktoker i can't for the life of me remember his name um he does a it's called national geographic presents cosplayers in the wild yes i and know who you're talking I about i love it you've seen it yeah i've seen it i love it so much and i'm just like oh 
I would love. I would so be down with like um, doing these different things, like mm -hmm. representing part of the cosplay community, like on on his on his uh, TikTok. I know that's pro realistically probably not gonna happen, but it's like a guy can dream, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, a guy can dream. Yeah, exactly. This show is now dream and very low sleep schedules. Uh. Mood. Describes my sleep schedule. Ah, uh, yes. Um. So, the next thing is going to be... Have you ever created any cosplays because someone, like a fan or a friend, suggested you do it and you actually went through and did it because of said suggestion? Yes. Sounds like you have an interesting- it looks like you have an interesting story with this, so I'm, I'm gonna let you go first on this. I mean, it's not that interesting, it's just, um... Uh, someone on my TikTok had recommended that I do a specific version of Deku, and, uh... I did, in fact, do it, like, around the... October time 2020, uh, someone had actually given me the idea of uh, Oogie Boogie Villain Deku specifically. Ooh. Like a combination of Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas and villain the Villain AU Deku and merging it together. So that was one that I did. I may bring it back in the future, I'm not 100% sure, but eh, we'll see. We will see. Spooky times are coming. I still remember those TikToks. Those, TikToks. those are great. I mean, now that I have the new ring light, I could probably do some something cool with that, honestly. Heck yeah. Um. <clears throat> um. Funny enough, actually, um, there was one particular cosplay that um. I did not expect to, to ever do because this was way before Ash and I touched upon uh, the My Hero, My Hero Academia cosplays. Um, it was around the time when I think My I think My Hero Season One was coming out. Because um, I was asking I was uh, asking for cosplay suggestions from friends, and a lot of people were suggesting Tenya Ida because so many people were just like. Because uh, so many people were just like, "Oh, Silver, you would make a great Tanya Ida. You would you would fit the, so well for the mold." And I'm just sitting here like, "Okay, Oops. I have to look into this." So I uh, immediately, well, not immediately. I looked into season one. Um, I binged through the entirety of season one. Um, not even barely finishing it. I look into Ida. And I'm just like, "Oh my God, I see, I see why." <laughs> I see why. <laughs> so he's been a uh, kind of a staple cosplay within uh, uh, whenever I do my hero stuff ever since. Awesome. I promise I mean all the awesomes and amazing I'm saying. I just, I'm a robot and I only know two words. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Don't worry uh, about it. Thank God, because you're going to be hearing that later. Uh... <laughs> what does it, what do you think is the biggest misconception about you or the characters you cosplay as? For me personally, um a lot of people have the misconception of uh that it's easy to a degree. Um, for me, as someone who struggles with mental health in particular, I tend to gravitate a lot more towards characters who allow me to delve into the more negative areas of my mental health in a very safe, controlled way. But it's still a matter of, like, after I do those TikToks or after I do those pictures, it does take quite a bit out of me to be able to actually open up and just release all the negative things like um 
as an example, like um, any any time I feel particularly frustrated or angry. I'm sorry, my roommate sneezed. Any time I'm feeling particularly frustrated or angry, I hate um, releasing that onto other people. So I release it through TikToks like Bakugo and other angry characters. But a lot of people think that it's just like, oh, you're just acting. It's just like, no, I am legitimately releasing all this emotion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, It's not easy. It's not easy to be vulnerable on screen. It yeah. really is not, no. <clears throat> um... I mean, you kind of sort of answered my question, sort of-ish, but, um, shoot, I had something in mind. I'm just trying to remember what, what I... <laughs> Brain go... <laughs> Basically, um, because the question was, uh, why did, um, hey, one more time, what was the question? I know, you're fine. Um, what do you think is the bi biggest misconception about you and or your cosplay? That's right. okay, okay, okay. Um I fit okay, now I remember. Um cuz a lot of people um seem to think and I then again I put this out on myself a lot, especially like in person or uh online or all that other such that I'm just nothing but a big ball of positivity. <laughs> but um uh even yeah. I have to, like, have to... What's up? That's not entirely the case. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even I get depression. Even I get my moments of just... Mm. So, but, um... But I put... But I do my best to put myself out there as the as positive energy. Because, like, the world is already too neg... To me, is too negative as is. And I want to be able to showcase that, hey... There's positivity in a negative light, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, that does put a lot of it puts a lot of pressure on me. And uh, I do feel like um, one of these days I may crash, but I'm ho but hopefully, nah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You try to show the positivity in the cosmic community. Meanwhile, I try to show that it's okay to be vulnerable in the cosmic community. Yeah. Yeah. Try to put on a light. Try to put on a light, no matter where you are. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, next up is going to be coming from a past guest. This is the last question on my list, but shocking, there's more. Uh, coming from an ultra geek cosplay. Pepsi or Coke? Can I pick neither? I mean, that's that. That's the secret third option. So I mean, go nuts. <laughs> Neither. Tea. Awesome. Yeah, I'll take tea. <laughs> awesome. And technically, that's the secret fourth answer. I'll just keep going. <laughs> Water is the secret fifth. You know, it just keeps going. Um, so now we're going to turn off the phone because I was using that for my question. And now, shocking, there's more. Um, <laughs> but wait, there's more. Exactly. If I had a curtain, I would. Well, I have one over there, but it doesn't open. Um, first of all, do you, do either one of you have any questions for me as an individual or about the show in general? How long have you been doing the show? Almost, well, by the time this comes out, which would be middle of October, I think, it'll be almost three years. Because we started, like, on the, like, right during Christmas time. It was, like, right after Christmas we started it. Nice. <laughs> Which is exactly when you start a show that has the word demon in it. The beginning of the year! Um. Um, am I the first transgender individual to be on your show, or have there been others? There has been... As far as I know, because I, I don't know... Because, A, I didn't know you were transgendered until literally just right now. So I mean, as far as I know, there's only been one other, but it's not like I'm, I'm not, I'm not hunting people. Uh, I'm just like, good cosplayer, good cosplayer, done. That that's my that's my criteria of. So there has been one on, other. On a similar okay. vein to that question, what about non-binary? Yes, there has been a few. 
Okay. So I'm not the first in that milestone. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. First, first non-binary and transgendered person people on this show at the same time. There. It's a <laughs> it's a trophy we can hold together. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, is there is there anything else that you'd like to ask? How long have you been cosplaying? Ooh, well, I've been recently getting more serious about it, like actually like buying Spider Man and Jean from Ruby and stuff like that, and making Grim Jean. Which I'm waiting on lightsabers. God damn it! Um, nice. I have a plan. I'll explain it later. Um, but I've been cosplaying period for a few, a few years. I think I would say six, maybe? I think it's six now? Because I used to make um, marionette masks from Five Nights at Freddy's for my for my arts credit, because I was homeschooled. For like, a, with like, a, from a charter school. So like, I did have a teacher. It wasn't just my mother. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and I made them for for art and stuff, and you can actually see them behind me. For once, because it's sunny outside, which I hate, um, you can actually see them behind me and some over there. Not the, um, not the America one. That's because of the purge and stuff and all that. Um, but yeah, I think that's mm. how long. Because my first one was that mask somewhere. I think it's that one. I think. <clears throat> yes, yes, because the one I thought it was is behind something else. So yeah, that one, a black spandex mask and sweats, like a sweatshirt with white tape around the wrist, like three, and then sweat, black sweatpants with three as well, and then my black shoes. So that was my first one. My most recent one has been Jean Arc, which I bought the whole thing from two different people. But that's not the, that's not the exact point. That's not the point. Um, Don't shame yeah. in uh, by your cosplays, just so long yeah. as you have fun. Yeah, exactly. Uh, All right, I have one more question. Okay. How did you hear about the both of us? Or were you just, like, scrolling through Instagram, saw us, and was just like, I'm going to do an interview? Um, That's a good well, question. Okay. That was something I had in mind, actually. Well, mm. most of the time, um, I – most of the time, I'm just randomly scrolling through social medias. Like, I, I don't, like, randomly search just, like, cosplayer and ask the first five results or so, or so on and so forth. But um, most of the time, it's – Suggestions, which we'll get to suggest somebody in a little bit, or um, I'm scrolling through the TikToks or the Instagrams, and someone just pops up. Sometimes it's it's a few different reasons, but um, I I think your your guys was like like the majority of people is I I found you guys lightly did some stalking, eh, <laughs> which sounds horrible, but the, I think the point was there, um, and then because. The biggest problem with me is I try to make sure I don't just put somebody on just because of one cosplay. Because that, that's not cool. Because it could just be like, like one amazing one. And then it's like, like that, you know, like the accounts sometimes where it's like, I'm only Pennywise. Or I'm only XYZ. Like, like literally that's like their account is named after and like you're only that. I mean, I'm welcome to them on here because... The, they have more followers than I, than I do, but I mean, <laughs> um, but that's that's the, the the goal is to find people like co like full cosplayers who, yeah. So randomly scrolling through the social medias, yes. <laughs> okay, it, I got you. If that doesn't sound horrible, I'm sorry <laughs> if it does. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm good in terms of questions. Awesome. Yeah. You pretty much, uh, pretty much answered my question. Awesome. That was the most questions I've ever had. The end of the night. Um, now, actually, uh... I got one. Oh, go ahead. I actually got one. What was your first ever convention? Oh, I have not gone to many. I've only gone to two conventions. One, they're both Wizard World. One was Wizard World Portland, and one was Wizard World Reno. I went for my birthday, and the day after my birthday. Uh, nice. I never won any cosplay yet. I'm excited to do that. I had plans, but then my plans changed. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really excited because I have uh, 
I actually have cosplays now, not just sweatpants. Um, <laughs> not just sweats in California. <laughs> um, but then again, there's John that's literally a jacket with armor on top of it. So I mean, he's he's not that bad. And I'll... As someone who's done Roy from Fire Emblem, I understand. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I've only gone to two, and those two have been the only two I've gone to. But never in cosplay. I I, I have I have seen some amazing cosplays there. I saw a Xenomorph and Mecha Godzilla. Anywho, um, is there anything else that you'd like to ask? No, I'm good. Awesome. Well, right here. now we're going to get into the final three questions. Um, the first one is, would you ever like to come back to the show in the future? I don't see why not. It'd be cool with it. It just depends on the timing. Yeah. Yeah, so. that that's 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 the big thing right now is mostly the timing. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, I totally would. Good, because you're already scheduled for 18 more things. Um, <laughs> so the next question is going to be, um, who would you like to see on the show in the future? That's a hard one. <laughs> I mean, um, there's Quartz Cosplay. I could give you their information below. Gender fluid cosplayer, really cool person. Oh, you pretty much had the same exact thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to suggest uh, Quartz Cosplay. Um, one other suggestion I have. Um, one of my uh, one of my friends uh, here locally. Um, they go by. Uh, Big Chef cosplay. Ooh. Uh, they're uh, they do a really they do a bunch of like really cool cosplays from Voltron to Ruby to a bunch of other uh, cosplays as well. I um may I uh, throw my suggestion uh, to him. Awesome. Awesome. So we'll, we'll write them down, send out invites, and hope hopefully things come of it. Um. We have invites from our first batch that still haven't answered us, so I mean, it's, it's been three years. Um, so, yeah. Um, but the last question for today is Do either one of you have any questions for a future guest? <laughs> what are your top three characters that you simp for? I mean, we have a question about bacon, so I mean that that works for me. <laughs> I'll make sure to credit you on that one. Um. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. God, that was a really good question. I don't think I could beat. I don't think my question could beat that. <laughs> um, you can tell a lot about a person by the characters they simp for. That you can. Yeah. Silver's just error four hundred four and dial up noises here. Uh, yeah. Basically, um. I got one. It's a little out there, but um, it's not farther out than what we just had. So go nuts, man. <laughs> True. If you were in D and D, what D and D class would you be? Awesome. I mean, I know what my character is, but he's also a crazy old seventy-year-old white male. So I mean, he's a cra he's a crazy old man. So I mean, <laughs> is that is it? Is that a class? Um, I feel like we need to answer our own questions just to make yes, it Yes, I was just about I was just about to ask like answer your own answer each other's questions and your own questions. Yeah. <laughs> and I can, but I, I don't know. In terms of D and D class, I would say that I would be an artificer, honestly. I can see it. Because the construction aspect behind it. 
I can see that. And your turn, Silver. Wild magic sorcerer, because anything can happen with me. Mm. Oh, uh, am I answering it, Tiff? Yes. Why not? Okay. Sure. Why not? Why, why not? Exactly. Um, just because of, like, my original character and uh, my show is called Demon, I think I would be, like, a necromancer purely because of those two things. Because my original character mm -hmm. is a skeleton. <laughs> so, I mean, might, might as well. Might as well do that, but, uh, you know, be a fun one, not gonna rule the world, because that's too much work. <laughs> Grave Cleric could also work. Yes. So, top three characters we simp for now. I'm not, I'm not excited for this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're about to be called the hell out. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I think I have the three already, and it's just like, ah. Uh, <laughs> I have three already, but I'm just tr I'm trying to rank them. <laughs> it doesn't have to be, uh, I, because I'm going to be asking them, it doesn't have to be ranked. It should just be the three. It could be like in no particular order. Okay, in no particular order. Because yeah, I, no I cannot do that. <laughs> I am ace as hell, though, so all of mine are just going to be romantic simps. Just a fair. disclaimer. That's fair. Mm-hmm. In terms of the top three characters I simp for. Oh, geez, that, that is actually more difficult than I expected. <laughs> I can so, I can answer first if you want me to. Yeah, I can answer first. We can do the rotation and, and, you, and you can be last this time. Yeah. Okay. I know my, the first one that came to mind. Um, Grahatia from Final Fantasy XIV. Of course. Um, shoot. Uh, Suzaku Kururugi from Code Geass. I simp for I simp for that man. Those two men I absolutely simp for. Actually, there's one more. Actually, for my third, I was gonna say um, Silphine for Itachibana from Himoto Maruchan, but um, Lange from Skate the Infinity took my heart. Child. <laughs> That's a child. <laughs> he, I did not know that. But I mean, more. I mean, makes sense. But Dude, wow, that. Okay, if we're, okay, if we're barring that, that's more rom. That's more romantic thing. That's not actual. You're trying to say well, that well. if you were an adult, you would. Yeah. Like aged okay. up. Let's just assume yes. they're all aged up. Let's just say that. Yes. Let's just. <laughs> Set that bar now. A bar yeah, no, is there, no. and we're living on it. <laughs> I don't support like mm. pedophilia or any of that stuff. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Clearing that up right now. Um, miss me with that. <laughs> just um, God, it's so weird because like I'm friends with somebody who cosplays as one of them. And like they help me with a lot of things, and I it's gonna be real weird. Uh, well not not weird. It's gonna be weird interactions if they see this episode. Probably not. Anywho, um, uh, Kira Nikos from Ruby. Nice. Um, uh, Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club. And and that's the one where my friend cosplays them, so that's gonna be a lot. Uh, and actually, also cosplayed as them on the show, and we could play, and we were playing through that game. It's fun. Um, ah, who would be the third one? The third one's hard. I'm looking around my room because there's probably something on the wall somewhere. Um, trying to look around. <laughs> uh. there's probably something of them on my wall somewhere, or like of the show, and I'm trying to think of it. Um, I actually I think, have an additional answer for mine, but I'll let you finish up. <laughs> uh, I think one that's kind of newer is also uh, Neapolitan from Ruby, just just from like interactions with other people and stuff. So that was actually going to be my uh, other answer. Actually, was Neapolitan. <laughs> that's gonna be fun since we're both gonna be in an in interview with somebody who cosplays as Neapolitan. 
That'll yeah. Be fun for later. <laughs> and fun thing is, I'm probably gonna share this with you on that group. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hope they don't watch it this far. I'll be too busy. Um. Anywho. So for me, uh, my list has changed a lot. Like it changes regularly. <laughs> But top three characters that I simp for would be uh, Time Skip Dimitri from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Which is funny because I don't even play that game anymore, but anytime I see Time Skip Dimitri, it's just like... Kill every last one of them! <laughs> Next one would be Tomura Shigaraki from My Hero Academia. I know that's so weird for some people, but just boy needs a hug. <laughs> boy does. needs a hug. Boy needs a hug, and he needs to like keep it, keep at least one finger off, so I can hug him safely. <laughs> Come here and give Shiggy a hug. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to end up like his parents. <laughs> Get ready. Now we're getting dark. Uh... <laughs> And last, this one is a more recent development, and it's because I've been listening to a lot of ASMR of this character, actually. Um, nothing lewd, no. <laughs> but, uh, Lady Dimitrescu from Resident Evil Village. Just, she seems like she would just be very caring and loving, like, it, if she genuinely cares about you, she is damn protective over you. So it's just like, hey, I feel safe here. Yeah. If anyone misgenders me, you will slash them to bits. <laughs> yeah. So those, are, those are my top three sims as of currently. They, this may change like next week, but that is the current <laughs> top three. As Valid. of August 28th, 2020, on Saturday at 151. It's not 2020. 2021. Sorry. <laughs> I'm living in the past. All I'm, li together. I'm living in the past. Um, and uh, so, with that fun ending, uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Don't forget to follow these lovely people on all the social media platforms. There'll be a way to get some indie description below. And at least I. We'll see you, excuse me, there it is, in the next video. Bye-bye. Johnny. Yeah.